All right, so make a plan and practice it. That is the message during National Fire Prevention Week. Now this week, which kicked off on Sunday, aims to educate people on ways to keep their families safe. Our Angela Cunningham is on your side this morning with some advice from the experts. That's right. Each year, thousands of people die in fires and seconds could be the difference between life and death. This week is National Fire Prevention Week, and I'm here right now with a couple of folks who are going to tell us why this week is so important. On my right, we have State Fire Marshal Kevin Selmeyer, and right here we have Amy Acton. She is with Phoenix Society for Burn Survivors. Thank you both for talking to me. First, let me start with you. Um, the slogan this year is not every hero wears a cape. And that's why we need to plan, practice, and escape. What does that mean? Um, it's, a, it's a program that we're trying to encourage families to s really sit down as a, as a family group, come up with what's your plan. You need to practice that plan, and then you need to practice the actual escaping part, and you need to build off of that. What does that look like? Well, it's, it's everything from even initially doing a walkthrough, walking in every room in your home and saying, hey, if a fire occurs here, we're going to go that way. And if we can't go that way, we're going to go this way. And it may mean in some cases that we go into a room okay. and we actually close a door behind us and we go to a window. You know, this simple smoke alarm gives you that early warning so that you can initiate your escape. And that's really what we want to focus on this week. Make sure you have a working smoke alarm, but more importantly, you want to make sure you practice your drill. All right, Amy, let me ask you, because you guys work with burn survivors, including firefighters, mm -hmm. what's the ultimate goal of this week? Well, our ultimate goal is this is the best treatment of a burn, preventing it in the first place. So, you know, it is really thinking about this for your family, practicing the escape plans, thinking about things that you can do around your home to make it safer. For example, not leaving cooking unattended, making sure that your outlets uh, the the multi-sixers where you plug in lots of plugs, make sure it's a good one, high quality, UL tested, because that's where fires start. Why is this partnership with fire departments so important for you guys? Well, for us, uh, they many of them uh, were instrumental in saving us. So we want to give back and add our voice to their important work and keep them safe. Um, they don't like to be called heroes, but they're going into the fire when we're trying to go out. So our duty as a community is to get out, uh, practice your escape, and be out of the house so they don't have to go in. How important is it to get out quickly, and how can people best do that? You have less than three minutes to get out of your house, and this has been shown time and time again. And that smoke building up in the rooms, faster, darker, makes it harder for you to see. You can have the intention, I want to move towards my exit, I want to get out, but the oxygen levels are dropping and eventually you'll pass out. Well, thank you both for talking and you can find more information about Fire Prevention Week on our website, 13onyourside.com. Back to you. And we're on your side this morning helping you with that escape plan. So go ahead, take a look at your screen. First, draw a map of your house and then identify two ways out of each room. Map your family's escape route. So pick a designated safe meeting place outside your home and be sure to practice this at least twice a year. Today, the Grand Rapids Fire Department is inviting you to visit one of its 10 fire stations as part of Fire Pre Prevention Week. The open houses are great opportunities for residents to stop by and meet their neighborhood firefighters, as well as learn about fire prevention. Today's open houses will be held at the locations you can see right there on your screen from 6 to 8 p.m. If you cannot make it today, the Leonard Street Station will have an open house on Saturday.